Okay, so this is how we install Eclipse into Linux Mint. We're going to use this to avoid having to use the terminal. So we're going to Applications Other and Synaptic Package Manager. Click on this and we enter our password in. So we're just going to type that in and click on Authenticate. Once we're here, we should see a list of packages. What we're going to do is we're going to type in Eclipse, so E-C-L-I-P-S-E, -E, push Enter. And we're going to find Eclipse uh, in this list, so we see a bunch of choices. We're going to scroll down a bit. There's a we're looking for Eclipse CDT. It says C C++ Development Tools for Eclipse. It's this guy right here. Uh, you'll know we have it right when it says that C and C++ Development. We'll click on that guy and say Mark for installation. So we'll check that guy. And yes, we want all these other additional changes. So we'll click Mark on that. And there we go. We should see something that looks like this. Now, we know we're ready to install when we see this. We'll click on Apply to apply the mark changes. And I'll say, do you want to apply these? And we'll say uh, that we want to apply them. We'll click Apply. It'll download these files. So uh, it'll take a little bit of time. So we're going to skip ahead in a moment uh, as this uh, downloads. Okay, so now we're back. It's almost done. When we're done, we will soon see the progress of uh, the uh, installation. It'll apply the changes, take its time to apply that. That also might take some time. So it's going to take a sweet time. We're going to skip ahead in a moment. So, yeah, you'll just have to wait a little bit while this happens. So I'm going to skip ahead a bit. Okay, so now we're ahead. Uh, it's almost done, and yeah, once it's done, uh, you'll know because it'll say changes applied. So we've successfully applied all changes, now you can close the window. Okay, so now what we'll see is this. We have Eclipse, and all these uh, other packages are installed. So the rich client platform is installed, and all these other things are installed, which is great. So we'll close this package manager, okay? And now when we go into Applications, which is in the upper left-hand corner, what we should see is Programming, which didn't exist before. See that? Right over here, Programming. And we go into Eclipse, which is on the right-hand side over there. So click on that. So the Integrated Development Environment, that is Eclipse. It'll take its time to load up. It'll say Eclipse Indigo. Uh, Indigo is the latest release of Eclipse as of this recording. When it does load up, we will see this. Uh, it says, select a workspace. We'll just go with the default. Uh, this is fine. And we could click OK, but we can also say, use this as the default and do not ask again. So we'll check that one, just so we don't get bothered again. So we'll click OK. It's going to load the workbench. And the first time it loads up, we're going to see a special screen. Uh, it's going to look like this. We're going to have this welcome screen that says, Welcome to Eclipse. We don't really care about being Welcome to Eclipse, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the upper right-hand corner, which says Workbench. We'll click on that, and that'll take us to the normal view, which is this guy here. Okay. So Eclipse, because we selected the CDT version of Eclipse, the C Development Tools Ecl uh, Eclipse, we can go to File, and then New, and then Project. So File, New, Project. We're always going to deal with projects in this class from now on. <coughs> and what we can do is we go down to C slash C++. We'll click on this guy and expand. There's this uh, triangle. We'll click on that triangle. And we will select the C project. Click on Next. I'll advance this to C project. And we'll just give it a name for this, uh, for this project. Uh, but actually, before we do that, we're going to select uh, the Hello World ANSI C project. So that's the one we want. And I'll just call this hello for now. Uh, you'll probably change this project name based on what the project actually is. We'll click next to proceed. And here we can put our name in for the author, uh, copyright notice, and all of this stuff. We don't really necessarily care about this stuff, but it's just there for fun. So here's the uh, author name. <coughs> I'll click next again over here. And now we have uh, this thing here. We'll just click on finish. 
And once we finish, once we click on finish, we will have, uh, it'll ask us do we want to go into, the, yeah, we'll click yes here. Do we want to go into the C++ perspective? We'll say yes. Um, all right. And so here we go. We have, it doesn't look that much different, but you notice on the left-hand side of the screen, we have this thing that says hello. What we're going to do is we're going to expand that again. We click on the triangle to open that up. When we go where the, uh, we uh, go down to uh, source, which is the second guy here, we'll click on that guy and expand that out. Click on the, on the triangle, and we'll double click on hello.c. So click on it twice. And here we go. Here is our hello world program. And you notice there's this comment here that has the author name, which is me, and all the other good stuff. And it has this hello world program already built up for us, so we don't have to do any extra work here to get this running, or at least to, uh, to change this. But you know, we can ex uh, change this a bit if we'd like to. Uh, it's not that tricky to do so. <clears throat> but in any event, so we're going to try to run this. Now, you might be tempted to click on Run, which is this thing over here that uh, has a little triangle, it's like a play button. That's kind of what you would expect to do, but it'll say, ah, there's no binary. In other words, you don't have your executable yet. So you, what you need to do actually first is you need to uh, look for the thing that builds this. And it's this thing that looks like a, um, like a hammer. So you click on the hammer guy. <clears throat> and actually, that's not going to work. Well, quite work. Um, uh, it's going to produce uh, code for us. It'll build this thing up for us into this file called hello, which is good. So you see, by the way, this is the output of that. This is the compiler message that says uh, it's calling GCC uh, with the dash O thing. So if you scroll down a bit, there we go. Uh, so we have, uh, yeah, here we go. GCC, uh, all this stuff. There's a lot of extra stuff to the compiler that we don't really care about necessarily, but there we go. And if we click on this guy over here, this run again, uh, it'll still say we can't launch it. So what we need to do actually is we need to, to configure this. So we're gonna, what we need to do, at least the very first time we make a new uh, uh, binary, new executable, is we click on the run as, sorry, uh, uh, run configurations of the second guy. It's run configurations, which is down below run as. Uh, there we go. So we click on the run configurations. And we're going to say C, C++ application, which is on the left-hand side. Uh, we'll click on this new icon over there in the upper left-hand corner. And there we go. Um, that's all we need to do at this point. Uh, we can click on Run over in the lower right-hand corner. And there we go. It'll print out Hello World with exclamation marks on both sides, just as our source code has right over there which is excellent. So that's all there. That's in the console tab over there. We can change this code a bit to just to verify this works. We can get rid of these exclamation marks in the front. We can save this by pushing Control S or by clicking at the um, uh, stack of floppies over there. We click on the uh, hammer button so that builds the thing and it tells us that it's building. We click on run this time again and it'll, you notice that it reflects the changes now. So when we click on run this time we don't have to uh, reconfigure it, so there we go. Now we have Hello World working inside of Eclipse without any additional fuss. So there we go.